everybody, and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're headed to the north shore of the island of Oahu. This is my favorite side of the island. It has the surfer vibes, but also has some great food. Last time we were here, we did a food tour of some of the more famous eateries of this section of the island, but this time we're going for delicious places that you may not have heard of. We're gonna head three miles out into the ocean and go diving with some sharks. So why don't you come with us on this adventure? Good morning, everybody. Today, we're not gonna be exploring Waikiki. We're gonna be going to my favorite part of the island, the North Shore. Your destination is on the left. To come to the North Shore, you need to go to Pa Alakai Bakery, and that is where they have the famous Snow Puffy. And they also have some great malasadas. We haven't tried them yet, so we're, we're gonna try them right now. Look, it's Miss Snow Puffy. <laughs> is that what the Snow Puffy looks like? And they also got Malasada Sada Sand. And of course, they even have merchandise. But I love this yeah. t shirt. I'm a Snow Puffy Where? junkie. Snow. You can buy some nostalgic photos of Hawaii for $15. No. First up, I'm gonna try one of the Malasada Sada Sands here, and they've actually been using the same recipe for over 30 years. Sadas, Malasadas and I'm interested to see how this compares to Leonard's. I got the one with custard in the middle. I think it just has sugar on top. I will say it is very heavy. This is so good. I'm not sure what kind of custard is in the middle, but it almost tastes like a, a coconut flavor or something. It's nice and fluffy on the inside and the outside is covered in that sugar. This is so good. It gets a five out of five. You know it. Like I said, if you come here, you need to get the Snow Puffy. The Snow Puffy is basically a cross between a turnover and an eclair. It has a thick cream center and is drizzled with chocolate and dusted with powdered sugar. This is messy and I haven't even eaten it. <laughs> the custard on the inside is so sweet. The outside is like crispy and flaky. You can see the flakes coming off there. And the chocolate is not too much, but don't breathe in because that powdered sugar, just like beignets, suck in and <laughs> you'll like start coughing. This is, I, I know why this is so good, like why people talk about this. I know why this is iconic, because it's falling all over the place. No, that's not why, because it's five out of five Peter. Five out of five Peters. We need Kitra to try this. I'm not gonna be like Peter and I'm not gonna get powdered sugar all over my black shirt like he did. <laughs> Look how she's eating It's like bent over. Oh my god, ordinary venture star. You gotta try these when you come to the North Shore. Nope, you're good. It's impossible. I also read that they have a 50% off discount hour from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every day there, trying to get rid of like their leftovers. So if you're willing to wait for the slim pickings, you can get some some deals. Should have got more snow puffies, what we should have done. Actually, the Paniolo, mm. Paniolo friend, yeah. Thank Some you. Good pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Today we're at Seven Brothers in the North Shore. This restaurant was started by a family of seven brothers, and it's their mantra it's, it's more than a meal. They want everybody that comes in here to feel like they're part of the family. And they supposedly have some of the best burgers and fries in all of Hawaii. So we're here today to check that out. We started in 2009, but they already have four locations on Oahu and two in Utah. So they're expanding pretty fast. When you come here, you gotta get the Paniolo burger. Paniolo means cowboy, so this is basically a cowboy burger. It has giant homemade onion rings on it, grilled pineapple, bacon, melted American cheese, and all covered in house and barbecue sauce. Their house sauce is like a fry sauce, but also has mustard in it. They sell it in jars inside. It's famous, apparently. How am I gonna fit this thing in my mouth? Oh God. Okay. That burger is juicy. The onion rings are cooked to perfection. The barbecue sauce, tangy. This might not just be the best burger in Hawaii. This might be the best burger I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's so good. It's a lot. 
so like, you gotta be in the mood for this. It's just so much flavor. I'd give it five out of five, Peter. I'm gonna put this in an Ordinary Adventure Star Contender, so we gotta get your thoughts on this one. Damn. <laughs> I don't even care how messy it is. The combination of the pineapple mixed with the onion ring, mixed with the barbecue sauce, mixed with, mixed with the everything is so freaking good, dude. They have so many different options to choose from on the menu for burgers. It was really hard to choose, but this one I feel like was a good choice. I wanted to like try everything on the menu because they all look really, really good. Yeah, this one's like total Hawaiian cowboy. <sighs> Ordinary adventure. Another thing you have to get here is the Paniola fries. And these are fries covered with grilled pineapple, bacon, caramelized onions, melted cheese, barbecue sauce, topped with two homemade onion rings. This might be one of the craziest fries I've ever seen. They even have something called crazy fries, but it's not as crazy as this. So they have like these thin cut, like crescent moon fries. Interesting shape. That is a whole bunch of flavors all together. I thought it was gonna just taste like the burger, but it actually, you get a lot more of that house-made fry sauce, which is tangy, it's perfect. I feel like this would be the perfect thing to grab, go to the North Shore, go to the like the beach, and just be like eating on the beach. Five out of five years. I'm gonna say it right now, Ordinary Adventure Star. There's no way. No way it's not an Ordinary Adventure Star. We love the North Shore and we love Haleiwa, the little town here. But we've never actually like walked around, so we're gonna walk around a little bit today. We found parking in this parking lot. We almost parked right here, but apparently you gotta watch out for falling coconuts. Not something you have to worry about in California. That's the local post office. The place that we ended up parking is right next to where all the food trucks are, and this parking lot is always full. So I feel like that's a good place to park, even though we're not eating in there today. It's like literally right next door. It just smells like garlic over here. You get all the garlic fumes, I love it. Last time we came to the North Shore, we went to Matsumoto's Shaved Ice and it was amazing, incredible. Highly recommend, you gotta try it. But this time around, we wanted to try something different. So we came over here and these guys are kind of like the new kids on the block. They opened in 2018. This place has all natural syrups made in-house. The ice cream is made in-house as well. It's all done from like natural fruits and stuff. So the selection of flavors is a lot smaller than you'll find at the other shave ice places. But apparently it tastes amazing. So I guess now the real question is what are we gonna get? So you can make your own, but I think we're gonna go with one of the specialties because they know what tastes good. So what made you decide to do another shave ice place in this area? There's so many. I know, there is there is so many. Um, so I grew up it here, and I grew up eating Matsumoto's and like Aoki's and all those places, and it was uh, really, really good. And then after school, university, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I just kind of was interested in shave ice. And then this place, it was a fish and supply store for a long time beforehand. And a uh, spot opened up, and my dad was like, did you want to try to do a shave ice thing? And I was like, sure, I'll give it a try. So I just, I just made it all in the garage, like on the street. Yeah. Our syrups are made with fruit, like real syrups, real fruit syrups, so they're pretty thick. So we have to put the holes in uh, for the syrup to penetrate or else it'll just kind of beat off the top. So the question is, is it, is it healthier actually? Yeah, I think it actually is because you got like all the fiber and all that stuff in there. So it uh, definitely helps. I think it helps with the sugar spike, which yeah. from shave ice mellows it out quite a bit. And then because we use real fruit syrup, uh, we end up using quite a bit less added sugar to it because the fruit already has sweetness. That looks so cool. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Oh, of course. Enjoy. I'm so freaking excited to try this. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, we have a spot all the way down to the river. There's benches and tables and stuff. Awesome. Cool. Love that. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy. You're beautiful. Wow. The one that we ended up getting is called the North Shore. This has mango, pineapple, coconut, sweet cream, and macadamia nut ice cream. And we decided to get some lehing powder on top. That doesn't normally come that way, but uh, we felt like 
spicing things up a little yeah. bit. Let's be adventurous. Let's be adventurous. And by the way, look at this place down here. They have a beautiful place for you to enjoy. And th there's no line here. You could just come and enjoy this entire property. As opposed to Matsumoto, yeah. which feels like it's like a small strip mall and there's a huge line. Yeah, and there's never anywhere to sit. There's bees everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I, just, I love it here. It's, I feel like I'm in nature. So thinly shaved. Like it's like melting away as I scoop it. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, Peter. Oh yeah, that Li Hing adds a nice kick to it makes it a little bit sour. This is so creamy, but the combination of that ice cream on the bottom and the cream on top. And then he was saying that the syrups are a little bit thicker than the normal syrups that you find at a shave ice place because they are made here, all natural. So you can really tell, like it tastes almost like, like a thick syrup. This might be better than Matsumoto's. I might have to, to claim that. This is, it just tastes fresh fresh and delicious. Five out of five. Peter, you gotta try it. I told you. I was worried because he packed it down that it wasn't gonna be as like soft. I was worried it was gonna be the Alani shave ice. But no, it tastes like snow. And it's so creamy. So creamy. You know how when you have a candy that is fake fruit, like you have runts. Yeah. They say it's like the fake fruit flavor. It's not that. It's like a real fruit flavor. I think now, like when I come to North Shore, I'm gonna. Yeah, come this here. is gonna be our go-to spot. It's all melted. So let's make this our little secret. Everyone watching, it's between you and me. Don't we, tell any. No, we just don't need, We don't need the lines that are. No, over spread the word. This place needs more love. This place needs a mile-long line because it's so good. And the owner watches Ordinary Adventures. Yeah. Which is really cool. He's going on a trip to Walt Disney World at some point. So, support a fellow adventurer. I love that it's like a red barn as well. They have a little seating area up there if you don't want to come down to the woods. So we were just eating our shave ice over there and I saw another tree that has a falling coconut sign. I'm guessing that by law they need to have that. But this is roped off. And look at this. There's an actual coconut on the ground. Am I the only one amused by this? Probably. Siri, how many people die from a fallen coconut every year? Fallen coconuts kill 150 people per year, but sharks only kill five. Well, we're going shark diving tomorrow, so I guess that's good. <laughs> so our, our odds... Okay, well, get away from that tree because I don't want you getting hit in the head with a coconut. <laughs> The next day. It's 5.30 in the morning. We're getting up to go to the North Shore to swim with sharks. Are you ready? No. We told ourselves on this trip we were going to get ourselves out of our comfort zone. And this is going to be the apex of it all. We're going to be swimming with sharks. First things first. This morning we just made it into the North Shore. Stopped at a 7-Eleven and I picked myself up some Dramamine. It usually makes me feel very tired. Maybe I'll just fall asleep and the shark and then I won't be scared of being in the open ocean. So I'm most nervous about getting motion sick um, because we talked to some people and they said that like it's very rough waters. For those of you who don't know the North Shore is where you go surfing there's a lot of waves and we're going three miles out. And I'm also scared of the open ocean. I'm scared of the sharks but like I'm more scared of those two things than the sharks. Is that weird? Well they say you're supposed to do it the earlier the better. Oh really? Yeah they say the closest to seven the better. So we got a good time. So we found the marina on the North Shore. And this is where we're gonna go out of. Right over here is the booth to our excursion company. It's North Shore Shark Adventures. Honey, do you need the ice swim with the sharks? Sure. We'll see how I feel after. <laughs> they guarantee shark sightings 100%. Oh no, a shark has eaten Kitra. So we're going to be going three miles out on a boat and we're going to see mostly Galapagos and sandbar sharks up to 12 feet in length. Or maybe even some hammerhead sharks or tiger sharks. Although I heard that great whites do migrate here in the winter. 
but I don't, I don't think we're missing any of those, right? <laughs> I don't think so. I was looking at the wind indicators. It's definitely been still blowing overnight, so just be prepared. Hold on when you're walking around the boat. This little area over here, away from the cage, is the VIP place. Yes. Hold on tight and go for distance. <laughs> Plus points in the water, negative points for on the boat. <laughs> now, off of those sharks, those guys, they get up to 12 feet long, so they're not small little guys. They get up to 12 feet. They're really big sharks. You guys all good to go? Yeah. All right, let's go then. slowing down. I love that there's a rainbow out there. It's a good sign that we're gonna see some sharks today. So they got the shark cage into the water. I don't see any sharks yet. Do you see, do you see the fins? Do you see the fins? I saw the fins for a second. Oh there's one right there. I can see it underneath the water. <laughs> hey Bruce. There it is. Look at it. Oh wow! I am. I'm kind of scared to get in here, but this is gonna be cool. I feel like I'm more nervous about the rockiness of the water, you know, like getting hit, hit on the cage or something, than I am the shark. I'm very excited. I'm just like I said earlier, my main concern is motion sickness. Yeah. I'm, I'm handling it okay. It just looks like it's we're gonna have a wild ride around that cage. There's nothing too crazy. There's nothing to worry about. Only start worrying about if you guys see a shark in the cage for the boss. <laughs> just stay away. That only stay happens once per trip, okay? right? They're not main eaters, so stay away from the girls. They can't really jump. I've seen before, yes. <laughs> I've never seen that before. No, never seen it jumping in the cage, but I've seen them jumping out of the water. Yeah. So the reason why they let the cage out there like that is it's less rocky yeah. once it's not attached to this boat. And it's probably cooler to see that. Oh, we got some rain coming, huh? Coming out. Yeah, make it sunny and there's a rainbow right away. Have you guys been this close to a rainbow before? No. Oh, it's right away. It started to rain. Oh, it does it. Shark, it shark country? I don't know if it, how much of this information is actually true. <laughs> And now I'd like to thank Trade Coffee for sponsoring this portion of today's video. It's not too late to get your friend, loved one, or yourself a freshly roasted holiday gift. Trade Coffee is a personalized coffee subscription that makes it so easy for you to discover new coffees and make your best cup. Every month you can have freshly roasted coffee beans sent to your house. It's like Christmas all year long. The coffee that I've really been enjoying lately is by Steady State. It's the Magdalena blend. It is so good. It has a nice sweet cocoa taste with a little bit of acidity. I like it. Trade partners with the nation's top rated roasters. And they're so sure that you're gonna like your coffee that they'll send you a new one for free if you don't like your first bag. 
treat yourself or the coffee lover in your life with Trade Coffee. Right now, Trade is offering our viewers a total of $30 off a subscription and access to limited time holiday specials at drinktrade.com slash ordinary. That's drinktrade.com slash ordinary for $30 off. And now, back to our adventure. We made it. Oh my god. Oh my god. You okay? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. They, so they, they totally lied to us. They were like, you're gonna have to swim out and get in the cage. So we didn't have to do that. <laughs> you thought they were? Yes. It's, it's a joke. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. See any that? Okay, so the ride there, I was doing okay. I was nervous. They told us we we're gonna have to swim 10 feet to get to the shark cage. The whole time I was thinking of that, they were just joking. I was doing okay motion sickness wise. I was like hanging in there. But as soon as we stopped the boat, I started to feel it. And then as soon as I got in the water, it like went up to like 100. I actually threw up quite a few times, but I didn't eat anything today, so it was just like, basically like nothing yeah or I just like I had the motion but like nothing came out we paid $75 extra they do offer like if you don't have a GoPro or whatever they do offer like a, a package where they film you and stuff and I'm pretty sure for that entire time we envisioned like going under and like waving at the camera and stuff but I, I couldn't I think it was such a unique fun experience like the sharks were beautiful they're not scary at all once you're in the water it's really not that scary personally for me um, really? Because like I had my hand and like it was on the thing and like oh yeah, my arms some, are out of the thing the whole sometimes time. Sometimes sharks would come over and I would. Like, yeah, I wasn't scared of that. Uh, um, but I will say I'm gonna. I hate to say this, but if you suffer from motion sickness or seasickness, I do not recommend this. Yeah. Because although I enjoyed myself and I'm happy that I did it, I took Dramamine and I still. When we first got in there, I think even Kidra was like amazed, looking down with this the snorkels and looking, seeing them all over. They were like below you, around you. There were so many sharks. And then she got sick and I was like trying to console her and she was like, film the shark, film the shark. Well, every, every time I looked at you, you weren't filming. Cause I was worried about you. I know, well, thank you. But I was like, don't film me, don't worry about me. Just film yourself and yeah. film the sharks. Yeah. So, um, because I was just in my own little world. I yeah. was trying to like focus. Once you're in the water, the waves are so big, you can't see anything but the waves. By the way, I think the coolest thing is like when you take the snorkel out of your mouth and you just hold your breath. You, you have the goggles still. Hold your breath and you push yourself down because then you get closer to the shark. Okay, I didn't end up doing that. Yeah. We had talked about doing that before, you know, we got out there and then I just couldn't even bring myself to do that, unfortunately. I feel bad for Kitra, but uh, aside from her 
I don't know, it was really cool. I just want to say it was really cool. If you love sharks and you always wanted to do this, it felt super safe. The whole entire crew made the whole thing so enjoyable. They explained everything along the way and they made it feel safe and easy. And they took the video footage, which uh, they had at like, the end of like a pool stick or something like that on a GoPro. It was, it was much harder to film in the shark cage than I thought it was going to be very wavy we're in the north shore and it was like the captain said it was like a five out of ten uh in terms of waves if you can get them to film some stuff because it's if that's a five out of ten i don't even want to know what like a <laughs> ten out of ten is because that well, was, ten out of ten she says they cancel it I, when i was able to get my head under there i was amazed i loved it i thought they were beautiful like i, I legitimately was not scared they were just like cute little babies <laughs> they're just like swimming around like having a good day so it was funny because the kid was like getting sick but then she would like go under and be like Ooh, no. i'd be like <laughs> <laughs> they do provide you with snorkeling gear. You can bring your own if you want to, but we decided to just use theirs and it was fine enough. They even had ones that you could have your prescription glasses inside, but I, I just got rid of my glasses anyways. Bring your own towel, your own uh, drama meme. I didn't take any, I didn't get sick, but Kitra's more prone to that. I think they take 10 people on the boat total so they do two shark cage dives it's about five people in each one it doesn't feel cramped at all and it's for 20 minutes long you, you do one of the dives and i feel like 20 minutes feels like way more time than you it need. felt like an eternity i'm grateful that they you know they let us be in there for such a long time but in my mind halfway through i was like just kept waiting for them to pull us back in so I guess that's a good thing, like, if, yeah. yeah, for you. I felt like I had a ton of time. I feel bad, I really feel bad for Kitra. By the way, how much did we spend? We spent, I think it was like $115 each or something like that. Or then, online for the price. And is. then for the the video package they do, it's an extra $75. Yeah. And of course you got a tip. So. Yes, you yeah. do need to tip your, your crew and they, they deserve a good tip because they, made this experience incredible. Yeah, they didn't make fun of me for like throwing up in the shark cage. They were like, go to the corner. The current is flowing that way. So like if you throw up, it'll go that way. I was like, good, good call. North Shore Shark Adventures. I like it because it says adventures and we're ordinary adventures. I know that's like lame, but it was an adventure. And then on the back, I love the design. A little, little cutie guy. And then it says Haleiwa, Hawaii, which is our favorite place on earth. I just think it's funny that I bought a shirt and Peter didn't. And I was the one that was like literally just throwing up the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Memories to last forever. Flashback. Last time we came to the North Shore, we went to Giovanni's Shrimp Truck and it was life-changing, amazing. I still have dreams about it. But we wanted to try something different today. So we came over to the Big Wave Shrimp Truck. So we're gonna try this and then there's Jenny's across the street and we're gonna compare the two because that was the one that we were originally thinking of going to. So we're gonna have like the definitive decision of- It's gonna be a, the Shrimp Showdown. The Shrimp Showdown, for sure. And we're here with our friends, Wonderfully Normal. I... We're not just eating all the shrimp by ourselves. Oh we're, we're, we're helping, we're helping. Actually, really, just kitchen area. Look at the garlic. It's like a whole thing. <laughs> I will say, this looks like a lot more garlic than Giovanni's. Yeah. From what I remember. I could be mistaken. Did, did Giovanni's we should say E is helping. Yeah. Me and Cynthia are going to sit this well, one yeah. out. <laughs> you guys can take care of it. Yo, you, you got to try this. <laughs> Don't eat me. Ned, you try it. Yeah, for real. I'll try it after I'll you. Try it. <laughs> yeah, go for it, babe. Thank you. So this shrimp truck actually opened in 2005. It's been around for 17 years, and it was actually featured on drivers, di wait, Dive. diners, drive-ins, and dives. dives. What is it called? Dive. Triple D. What is it? Is it diners, drive-in, and dives? Oh, yes. I think. Diners. I thought it was drivers. <laughs> I thought it was drivers. I was, I was like, like, wait, that doesn't make right. sense. No, that's right. She's right. <laughs> and it was actually featured on Triple D with Guy Fieri. And I am a fan of his because he had a bunch of restaurants in my hometown. So I stan Guy Fieri. And if he likes it, I mean, it can't be bad, right? Well, we gotta do this at the same time. Okay. And this is our first time eating Hawaiian 
garlic really? shrimp. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, she doesn't eat seafood. I just want to like watch your your experience. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> We do have to take, mm -hmm. we do have to do yeah. a little bit of work. Yeah, you do have to peel yeah. these. Yeah, we're peeling this right on this napkin here. But, oh my god. Then what happens to all that garlic on top? Uh, you just pick it back up you and throw it back in your I, I heard that, like, you, 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 like, then... suck it? You suck it first. Oh, really? Do. Yeah. Where'd, so you, hear, where'd you hear that? I, I, I saw some YouTube videos. Oh. <laughs> suck it first. Okay. Yeah, that's what I heard. Oh my god. Yo. This is about to be like a religious experience. <laughs> I don't want to overhype it, but it's so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get some of that garlic back on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> it's not glamorous. It's absolutely. It's worth not it. glamorous, but you just gotta get in there, get your fingers dirty. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm. How is it? It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Five out of five. This is good. I'm excited to see how Jenny's is across the street. Giovanni's, to me, was a little bit better. I can't explain why, but just like a little bit better, maybe because it was my first time. I mean, you were like making moaning noises while you were eating. <laughs> <laughs> just now or then? No, then. <laughs> I will say the shrimp here is very fresh, juicy, plump, good, good stuff. Did you have to peel the other one? Yeah. I really wish you ate and enjoyed seafood because this, you that, would love this. I honestly think you both would like it. It's just garlic and butter. Shrimp is just scary looking, but it's like honestly the yes. best seafood there is. Now we're making our way across the street to try Jenny's. So a lot of people actually recommended Jenny's shrimp to us and a lot of the locals say that it's Giovanni's is overhyped and basically anything is better, including Jenny's. So I'm here to see, I can already see say just upon first impression this doesn't look as appetizing as the big wave shrimp right across the street yeah like that had mounds of garlic on the shrimp and the shrimp themselves so you're saying that is more of the like thing that guys guy ferrari <laughs> would like you know like he likes burgers with like stuff all Maybe. over it i don't know i'm just saying uh, upon, this could be the better like cooked one upon right? you never know. first glance the shrimps themselves look a little smaller shrimpy a little more shrimpy. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm they look you. they look 100%. a little weird. There's like a little like yeah yeah. I'm with so, you. They yeah. look still like like fresh like they yeah. just yeah. So just that could be good. I don't really want to suck these. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ooh. Okay. It's kind of amazing how right off the bat how different it is. Way more garlicky. Really? Yeah, or like more potent in a way. Because I would have predicted the other one was more garlicky because they had like all that garlic piled yeah. on. These are way harder to peel. <laughs> Say it. I don't necessarily think it's bad, but just comparing the two, 100% better across the street. Really? 100% better. Okay. It's, it's overcooked. Is that what it is? Yep. It's overcooked. It's a little tougher. I'll I'll say this. I don't know if this is inappropriate. The <laughs> suck test on it is really good. It's good. Yeah. It's very good right off the bat. It's a good suck test. Hits you, <laughs> hits you with the garlic. Like mm -hmm. that's why I was like, oh my god, yes. it's so flavorful. But then you bite into the shrimp and eat it, and it's like, oh. It's a little bland. Once you get down to like the bottom, it's all it's a surface shrimp. It's, it's like there's the no seasoning on uh -huh. it. It's just like a. Yeah. Hmm. Disappointing. Maybe we just got maybe, a bad, yeah, bad, bad batch. I think if you have the option between Giovanni's, that, and this, it's lower on the list. I love the North Shore. I also love the North Shore. We love, love the, North the North Shore. Shore. So get over it. So next up, we went to the Sunrise Shack. This is over in Shark's Cove. It's right across from the beach. This is the second location. They also have the original location over in Sunset Beach. And you're supposed to get the monkey bowl here. Sadly, when we came here, the monkey bowl was sold out. So we're gonna have to get something else. I should also mention they have some cute merch. And there's also chickens everywhere and there's signs, don't feed the chickens. Kitra? Oh, that's mine. That's you. I don't have any food for you, but I like your coloring. So anyways, I got the tropical bowl. And this is a blend of mango, banana, pineapple, coconut cream, honey, and salt. And it looks incredible. 
Get away, fly. No, it's mine. <laughs> it looks like Dole Whip or something in there. It looks crazy. You know, I was kind of upset that we didn't get the monkey bowl, but now that I've gotten this, I'm not so upset. The sun's setting, it's not rising, but it feels like it's rising. It feels like this would be the perfect thing to pick up at the Sunrise Shack, go down to the beach, hang out on the beach, like just eating this, making sure that the chicken don't eat it, eat any of it. It tastes like Hawaii in the form of a fruit bowl. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it, like it's all the good. tropical flavors and that coconut. I think I got too close to the babies with my croc and the mom like kind of like attacked my foot. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, but I think I got a little too, I didn't know they were down there. Well, I went over for one taco and I ended up with a whole pineapple, but the drink that's inside there is incredibly good. But they didn't say it was in this presentation, which is why my fish taco cost $22. <laughs> <laughs> Right across the street is what they call Shark's Cove. It's not called Shark's Cove because there's sharks. Apparently it's called Shark's Cove because it looks like a shark fin, I think. How cool does this look? This is awesome. It looks like there's like tide pools. I've been a croc queen this whole trip. I've literally been wearing crocs like nonstop. I actually have blisters because of it. <laughs> how do you think my crocs would do on walking out there? Probably not well. Yeah, so I don't know how close we're gonna get, but it's cool to see from a, a distance. This looks so cool. Apparently this is a good place to snorkel. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of water to do that. Maybe you gotta go out past over there. Yeah, is this coral or is it a rock? It looks like it was coral. It's definitely coral, but I'm a little confused. Like, did the water go up further before? Am I an idiot? What's going on here? Let me know in the comments. And now we're going to another iconic place in Oahu that was closed in 2020 when we came here, but now it is open. Last but not least on our foodie tour today, we made it all the way out to Ted's Bakery. And according to all the signs on the door, they've been rated Hawaii's best for the last six years. They've got a really famous pie, and that's what we're gonna try. I didn't even mean to rhyme, but I always got time. <laughs> we almost drove past this place. It's literally on the side of the road. It is so small and cute and cozy and they have some merch in there and a huge selection of pies, way more than I was expecting. They also have a bunch of hot food that they serve here that apparently is really delicious. But we ate so much today that we're just here for the pie. We're here late so the pies are running out. Yeah, the pies are running out. There was literally only two slices left of their chocolate coconut cream pie. This is like what they're known for. This is it. And they, they have so many different varieties every flavor you could think of. One of the most iconic desserts in Hawaii is hapia. It's like this kind of like jello coconut dessert. And what this pie does is it takes that and it makes in some like chocolate pudding and some frosting and some pie crust. So there's no way that this, this isn't gonna be good. This bakery has been around since I think 1956. 57. 57, I was right. It tastes like chocolate pudding mixed with the coconut and the creamy, creamy frosting on top. It doesn't need to look pretty. You're gonna mash it all together anyways. I can see why this is famous. Now I wanna go in and try like every single flavor that they have. Five out of five. Very, very sweet though. I was like, kind of, I was like, oh, it's such a small piece. But we're, we're gonna be, we're gonna be perfectly fine. This is the pineapple macadamia nut cheesecake. It's cake, like it's, yeah, it's not like a crust, like a cheesecake. The macadamia nut is more like cheesecake-y, but the crust here is more like a cake crust, but there are whole chunks of pineapple on this thing. Bye, thanks for letting us tag along with y'all. Yeah, thanks for helping us eat. Yes. <laughs> Bye. I think I finally agree with you. After today, the North Shore is my absolute, I think, favorite place on Oahu. You finally agree with me. Yes, I mean, I always loved it, but like they have the best food. Look at these views. It is just heaven on earth here. Heaven on earth. We finally made it to an area which I think is called Bonsai Beach. This is where the surfers like to come out on the North Shore. Let's see if we can see anybody surfing. Someone with a horse on the beach. That's a mini pony. That's not a horse. 
a mini pony. Yeah, it's a miniature pony. What's the difference? A horse is huge. A miniature pony is a small miniature so horse. So you take your miniature pony to the beach? If I had one and I lived in Hawaii, I would. That's actually my dream. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful sunset. I do feel like the sunsets are better on the north side and also like over in Kololina where Alani is. Because it, obviously it sets on that side. It's been a fun trip. I love Hawaii so much. This might be my favorite place in the world. It's fun watching the surfers try to get like one or two waves. Yeah, there's in. been so many surfers who came down right as the sun was setting. Yeah. Must be a good time to go surfing. Okay, running in, trying to get it before the sun actually like sets and it's like too dark. But it's crazy because like there's rocks like right out there. So if, if you can't see, it's very dangerous. Yeah, I'm so happy we stopped at this beach. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Tomorrow we swim with the sharks. <laughs> Don't remind me. Here comes one. Come on guys, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. They got it. At least one guy's got it. Awesome. If you want to see even more of our Hawaii Adventures playlist, right over there, I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Ben, Krista, Arlene, and Emily. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see, see you, you on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Mahalo.